Welcome to Best Reviews. This item has a rating of 3.6 out of 5 stars. A customer wrote, OK so after having this phone for 11 days now I figured I should get around to making an honest review. To give some context I currently have a Samsung Galaxy S4, my wife has a Nexus 5, my older daughter has an iPhone, and my younger daughter has a Bloom Studio 5.02. Love that phone, I had been researching this phone since it was announced. So I was very excited to get it 2 days after ordering it by Amazon Prime for only $218 chipped. When I got the phone I was a little scared because I could not get it to turn on right away as almost all other phones had been able to do out of the box. So I threw it on the charger for an hour and Viola it boots right up. Just a dead battery, no big deal. This may be what was wrong for others who gave this phone a bad review so on to the phone, wow, what a display. It is amazing. Very bright and the colors seem spot on to me. It is definitely brighter than the Super AMOLED screen on the Samsung Galaxy S4. At the time KitKat was not yet available so after booting up I had to install the update to get the Google services to work. No big deal again. Took less than 10 minutes. Now that the KitKat OS update is available, yay, this may be a moot point. Speaking of KitKat it became available a few days later. That install went very smooth. A small side note a SD card is required to install KitKat. I would assume everyone who buys this phone will increase the factory 4 gig storage with a new SD card anyway. KitKat seems very, very good on this phone without any bugs. See update at end of review that I have seen unlike when I upgraded to KitKat on my Galaxy S4. I had a problem with my phone not wanting to wake up, hence my looking for a new phone. Thank you for watching. Please give the thumbs up.